Men and women in uniform are expected to render the necessary quality services as mandated in the Police Act and as amended with due consideration for the fundamental human rights and freedoms. By so doing, law enforcement agencies should exercise their power within the confines of the law and without compromising in upholding the principles of law and order and the safety and security of all persons in Namibia. Molebuhi says the government has put high on its agenda the peace and security of the country and therefore makes resources available to recruit and train police officers with the sole purpose of sustaining and enhancing the professional as well as operational capacity of the force. Immediate task of your trainers during the six months of your stay here would be to physically, mentally train and prepare you for the prevention of crime and maintenance of law and order. The investigation of any offense or alleged offense protection of life and property, and the preservation of the internal security of the Republic of Namibia as the core function of the police. Therefore, once you have become a police officer, you are expected to always protect and respect laws of the country. On her part, the Zambezi Police Head of Administration, Deputy Commissioner Elizabeth Sibolile, applauded the residents of the Zambezi region for their continued cooperation with the police force, which always results in the speedy arrest of criminals. Please, madam, permit me to draw attention to the effort of the, our community here in Zambezi region, especially alongside the borders with our sister countries. For the effort in assisting the police by always providing information that leads to successful operations in, eradic in er eradicating crime in our region.